Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to our reflection on this Monday in the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Our reflection today will be based on the Gospel according to Luke. Let's start with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The crowds got even bigger and Jesus addressed them. This is a wicked generation. It is asking for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with the men of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it. Because when Jonah preached, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. St Luke tells in his Gospel that the crowds of people listening to Jesus continued to get bigger. His words and presence must have been so engaging to people of this generation that they were drawn to him and his teachings. We're reminded of our own generation. We have strengths and weaknesses, the age group we belong to, the contributions that we make, the footprints that we leave with our family and friends, the connections we have. Like the people of Jesus' generation, we yearn to see signs that help us clarify the big questions and give answers to our problems. Let us think, how do we as people of faith build up the church for future generations? What are the signs of the times for our church today? This reading gives us some challenges and gives us a lot to reflect on. How are we ourselves signs of our faith to our family, friends, those we work with and the community at large? Would we attract people to the church by the way we act and our behaviours? We need to follow Christ. We need to listen closely to his teachings and learn from his, his gospels. We need to ensure that we are signs of the living faith to those around us. It's not always an easy task, but as we finish today, let us remember that we are all in this together and together we can bring authentic witness of the gospel and be people of faith who build up the church for future generations. I'm sure we're up for this challenge. Thank you everyone for being with me today. I hope that you enjoy your Monday. Take care. Bye for now.